Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cecil here. So for this video, we're going to be going over what is the Master Challenge. So you might have seen this in the early Founders Pack that you'll get access to, um, you know, Master Challenges, right? And and every hero essentially has a Master Challenge. So this video is going to explain what is a Master Challenge, what it can offer you, and um, the cost to, to purchase it, and all the good stuff. So let's get into it here. So uh, first we're going to click on Play. So you're going to see all the heroes over here. And... Uh, you know, whatever the case is, let's let's, let's use uh, Severog right now. Uh, and so here he is over here. We can click on an inspect. And this is his master challenge. So you can see master challenge is listed over here. It costs uh, 75,000 reputation. All right. So you can see over here, I have 5,144. So as you play the game, you get you gain reputation as you complete dailies. Uh, you, you know, you could you could gain reputation over here as well. Um, you know, there's different ways to gain reputation in the game, right? So tributes can give you reputation, you know, by winning your first daily can give you the bonus reputation. So basically play the game will get you reputation so that you can actually purchase the master challenge for Severog. Now, I don't have the master challenge for Severog uh, because I bought the challengers pack and the challengers pack, founders pack offers uh, the challenge uh, master challenge for the first 13 heroes that were in the game. Um, I will be upgrading to the... Uh, uh, the Masters Founders Pack, which I'll be creating a video on how to do that because there's some people that are confused on, they're not sure how to do that. And essentially, it's it's to, you need to do it within in game. I know people that buy it on PlayStation, they're going back on the PlayStation Store and it's not there. But anyways, I'll, I'll do a, a quick video on that so you guys can have uh, uh, you know a, a clear view on how to upgrade your your Founders Pack. So, anyways, let's get into this. So you get the uh, 75,000 reputation or you can buy coins. So this is the 1300 coins. Um, the way you obtain coins, this is with real money. So if you actually, we go back over here, we go to the store, right? We can go uh, buy coins, right? So as you can see here, a thousand coins is 10 bucks. So you're talking about, I guess it's uh, roughly $13 or so to gain access to the master challenge, right? So there is ways, um, you can get coins for this case you can see um this here will give you a coin so as you play the game there's daily rewards you just basically click on your calendar over here and today uh day 10 for me everyone for everyone this will be different it really depends on when you purchase the founders pack or when you got into early access it'll be day one for you so day one for me may be different from day one for you so this may look different to you but here, here it is here so this daily reward 11 tomorrow if i play the game and i get my first win I will get 50 uh, coins, right? So that'll help me towards this. So really cool incentive that uh, Epic is doing here. They're giving you all different types of uh, uh, ways to, to obtain, um, you know, your items in game. You don't always just have to purchase with real money. You can, you can fast track it this way, but uh, you know, there's different ways to get it. So uh, let's go back into that. Uh, we'll just go Heroes, we'll go Severog. Okay, so we're back on Severog here. So those are the two different ways to purchase the Master Challenge. Now, what is the Master Challenge? So when you first, out of, out of the gate, when you first buy the gate, uh, when you first get the game, um, uh, say you don't have the Master Challenge for Severog, or uh, come summer open beta where, you know, people are able to get in for free, you don't have to purchase an early Fowler's pack. Every hero you can level up from you know, level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, right? So every hero off the bat, you can get this right here. You don't have to purchase anything. What Master Challenge gives you is these uh, locked areas up here. So we're gonna go through it. So I have this unlocked and this is the Challenger skin for Severok. Right now, sorry, I have this locked. As you can see, there's a locked icon. Once I purchase, I can, if I purchase his Master Challenge, you can see over here, unlocked by beginning the Master's Challenge. So I, either I pay 75,000 reputation, 1,300 coins, or I buy upgrade to the Master's Founder Pack, which I will be doing. I will unlock his uh, alternate skin, his Challenger skin. So right now this is locked for me, but if I play the game, I can level up to level two. And as you can see there, those are my rewards. Uh, you know, reward of common uh, uh, common quality or better. Um, and then, you know, level three is a card pack. The level four is a tribute and level five is another card pack. Right. Um, so once you purchase the master challenge, then you gain access to this tree. So again, you get a master tribute. Um, you level up to seven. You get master tribute again, um, and then level six will give you his emote, uh, which I'm curious to see what it is. So 
really curious to see actually what that is. Uh, level 9 will give you no another tribute. And then finally, level 10 will give you his master skin, right? And uh, you'll also get the title, uh, the master title for this hero. So that's essentially what the master challenge is. It gives you the ability to access this tree. Now, uh, the caveat to this, or it's not really a caveat, but one of the things to this is that when you play the game, and say you don't have the Master Challenge for Sevrock, but you use them a lot. You use them and you're, you're level 5. You could continue progressing to level 6, level 7, level 8. Even though these will be locked, you can actually progress all the way to level 10. Um, and then when you have enough credits, you can actually just purchase it. Or however you want to purchase the Master Challenge, you purchase it and then you'll have it all, all unlocked. You don't have to, in order to progress into this tree, you don't have to have the master challenge. You can actually just play him. And then, you know what? Say you really like him and you're at level eight, for example, and you're like, you know what? I want his master skin. I almost have 75,000 uh, credits uh, or reputation. Um, you know what? I'm just going to save up a little bit more, unlock it, and then you'll have everything unlocked. So your progression will continue regardless if you have the master challenge or not. So that's actually really cool. That's really neat. And I, I'm really happy that Epic did that because it, allow, it gives people incentive to, you know, look like, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm almost at level 10. I'm going to purchase the, the master challenge, whether it's, you know, 10 bucks or $13 or whatever you buy coins or you buy founders pack or whatever the case is. So that's pretty much what a master challenge is, guys. And um, hopefully that helped you out and, you know, let you... Uh, you know give you a nice overview of what a master challenge is and if you want to purchase it or how to purchase it and all the different ways to do that so if you like this video guys drop a like down below comments down below as well i read definitely read those and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so that helps me a lot and that's it have a good one guys take it easy